Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to recover documents, pictures, files, images, anything pretty much on your computer that you maybe accidentally deleted. Basically, this tutorial is going to apply mostly if you have small individual files like pictures or Word documents. I have gotten questions before on previous videos on this subject matter, and I kind of wanted to make an update video on this as well. It has been a little while. So basically, if you're trying to recover a video game or an old installation of Windows or your entire Steam library or something like that, this tutorial is probably not going to be the right one for you. And honestly, you're probably better off going to a data recovery specialist at that point to actually go ahead and try and recover the files, which honestly probably aren't going to be worth it financially unless you actually have something very important that needs to be recovered, in which case you're not going to get probably through a free application. just want to put that out there right off the bat. So anyway, with that understood, and we're kind of just appealing to the general home consumer that might have deleted something and they cleared the recycling bin, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully recover that. So it seems like there's a decent chance it'll be recovered, but the sooner you get on it, the better. You don't want to wait on this. So if you delete something one day, don't wait a couple of weeks to recover it. It might be overridden by then or it could be very damaged. So just want to get on that right away. So anyway, open up your web browser. I'm going to have a link in the description of the video, but I'm going to just search for it on Google. So it's for Recuva. And this is made by Pureform who are the developers of CCleaner, which is owned by Avast nowadays. But we're going to go ahead onto the CCleaner website here and just open it up. So on this page here, and I always get comments about this in the description of the other video on this subject, you want to download the free version. Do not select Get Recuva Pro, okay? Select down. You got to just follow along what I'm doing here because there's always somebody, and it's, you know, I don't think it's a majority of the people, but there's always a few people in the description of the video that are complaining about it not being free and why is it paid. And, you know, you can't talk reason to these people, but you want to select to download a free version. So go ahead and select that. On the left side, select the free download option. So Recuva free. Don't select the professional, don't select the professional plus, just download the free version here. So free download. And now you have the option on the left side here again, ignore the professional version. You want to look underneath free. You can either download from File Hippo or CCleaner's own servers here. I'm going to download just directly from CCleaner. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that. Give it a moment here. It's only about 5 megabytes to set up file, so not very big. Shouldn't take very long to download. So open that up. If you receive a user account control prompt, verify publisher should be Pureform and Recuva installer. I'm going to go ahead and select yes. Minimize out of that. Personally, I would suggest clicking on the Customize section. So if you want to enable all this, you're fine. Otherwise, I'm actually going to uncheck most of it. So I'm going to add a desktop shortcut as well as a start menu shortcut. I'm going to get rid of the other options here and automatically check for updates. You can keep it checked if you want. I'm going to just keep it here. Once you're done recovering your files, you're welcome to uninstall this application as well. So just want to put that out there. I'm going to uncheck Review Release Notes and then select Run Recuva. I'm going to select Next. So what sort of files are you trying to recover? This would definitely be helpful if you want to narrow it down here. So we're going to just select all files, but you can see some of the areas it specializes in, such as pictures, music, documents, video, compressed files as well as emails. So even if you delete an email, it might be able to actually recover it here. So that's definitely neat. So feel free to just kind of take a look at this list and then select next. You know, if you really know what you're missing, I'd personally would suggest selecting whatever one best corresponds to your issue. Select next. And it's going to ask where are the files. So this kind of tries to help you narrow it down a little bit. The more you can narrow it down, the better off you probably are. 
So we're just going to say I'm not sure, but you can also narrow it down to say on my media card, in my documents folder, maybe it's in the recycling bin, or in a specific location. And also you can even search a CD or DVD for it as well, so it's definitely a pretty cool feature here. Select Next. And you can also run a deep scan if the previous scans fail. I'm not going to run a deep scan at the moment here, but if you're still having problems and it doesn't work on normal scan, I would suggest reinitiating or relaunching this application and then select enable deep scan so just give that a shot this will take a couple minutes to run more than likely and obviously depending on how large your hard drive is it might take a little longer for some than most since we didn't select the deep scan method it looks like it's actually going to move pretty quick here it's actually moving really fast the hard drive I believe is about 25 gigabytes in this virtual environment and I think about 15 or so are currently being utilized so just keep that in mind if you have you know a couple hundred gigabytes worth of hard drive space that have files and stuff it might take a little bit longer here obviously so we're just gonna let it wrap up and there we go so we have a lot of different areas we can kind of go into here so you see there's some DLL files that might have been modified we have a ping file so a computer icon appears in the temp file location we can scroll down here you can see other areas too so to expand that you can see the actual file extensions if you scroll far enough a lot of this might be mumble or jumble but if you actually like specify pictures or word documents you might get a little bit more success in terms of locating your exact issue. So let's just say there's this PNG file in here. I can go ahead and just select right clicking on it and then recover highlighted if you want. And then if I select desktop to recover it to and select OK, do you want to restore it to the same drive? So it's just a precaution if you are having issues with your drive and maybe files were deleted. It's just kind of saying, hey, maybe you want to consider saving it somewhere else. So go ahead and select yes, you know, either case. And then you see we have this file that's now on our desktop, select OK. If you double click on it, I'm not saying this is actually the image I wanted to recover, but I'm just kind of giving you guys a point in exactly what it's able to do here. So it's just a random file here, it doesn't actually appear it'll be supported, but if you see a green circle, that means it should be able to be pretty fully recovered. Yellow means it's partially overwritten, so if I actually collapse this column a little bit here. Yellow means very poor condition. Red is unrecoverable, and green is excellent. So I just want to give you guys a heads up for that, so you have a few different options there. Again, I would highly suggest you guys actually go ahead and narrow down your search in the beginning. You can switch to advanced mode as well and you can actually go through your local disk if you have different disks on your computer and you can actually go scan for a file name or a pass if you want to type in something here so let's say we're looking for this csi.dll file so let me just type it in csi.dll and there you go it comes right up with it so if you know the name of the file that will certainly help if you do an advanced search so hopefully again that would be able to help you guys out and whenever you're ready to recover something you just right click on it and then select recover highlighted it also help if you have a date to narrow it down with in the beginning so we selected all time and then all locations but if you can narrow it down a little bit you probably would easily be able to clear up this list considerably in terms of how far back and how many files you have to sort through so Pretty straightforward process here, guys. I'd like to thank. I do hope this was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.